The first thing you need to know with getting a tattoo, this motherfucker, this motherfucker hurt, just know that, bro. What's good, you two? It's your boy, that way, KDW. Hey, if you went that way, you went the wrong way. Hey, just know, before you get a tattoo, just listen to what I gotta say, bro. Hear me out, I was even new life out of scroll. Let's get to the video, let's go. First thing you need to know with getting a tattoo, this motherfucker. I heard you know that, bro. You getting shade or anything, just know you always in for a ride. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be in that church and center. Make sure you got a good movement. Make sure you got something to grab on. And just make sure she ain't scared, number one. If you don't like needles, don't don't get no tattoo if you don't like needles. You know what I'm saying? Because if you hate needles, not get one, bro. Your way gonna pass it or fall out. Make sure you always eat something before getting a tattoo. If you don't eat nothing before getting a tattoo, you probably pass out because why they put all that pressure and temp on your skin? And you got no food on your belly, your, your brain gonna start playing with your way. You gonna start feeling nauseous, you gonna start feeling dizzy and some more. You always gotta make sure you have food on your stomach. When I got this motherfucker right here, I had a good case of deal. I ain't gonna lie. That motherfucker was good, you know what I'm saying? While I was getting my tattoo, y'all, I was watching Friday the 13th. Make sure you have something interesting or something entertaining to watch. I don't think, I don't know how the folks go to sleep when they get tattoos, but bruh, you not going to sleep when you get your tattoo, bruh. So just know that, bruh. You're going to feel all the pain. Then especially if you got like in a place where it hurt. If you got it in a place where that motherfucker got tan, just know, bruh, you're not going to time soon. You're not going to sleep, bruh. I would say get numbing cream, like for places like kneecaps, back of the legs, the back, the neck. Stuff like that, you can get number cream because you're going to feel all the pain, you know what I'm saying? Don't mind my hurt too. I got, you know what I'm saying, I got to fix it up. But hey, put something down below. What tattoo y'all get down below in the comments, you know what I'm saying? What would you have your first tattoo with? Because me, this joint I've been finished in two more weeks. Y'all going to see I'm getting way more stuff. It's going to get way more crazy. I'm getting way active. But hey, though, while I was getting this tattoo, y'all, you know how the person on 2K be, oh, oh. I was just like that, bro. You would think I was a 2K man, you know what I'm saying? I'm to my nigga, all this shading. Then on top of that, this bitch was 150. Tattoos not cheap, y'all. And you think from the come in and get a $30, a $30 tattoo, you probably can depending on the size. If they're just like this size or something, you can get like a little $30 tattoo on your hand or right here or something. It's like, it's, it's all depending on the size, it's number one. If you figure like a little half sleeve, full sleeve, it gonna be about a little smooth, 250, 300. Once I finish this up, y'all, it gonna be, I know it's gonna be way more money, but hey, tattoo is not cheap. You gotta make sure you got money on. You gotta at least make sure you have a job if you get a tattoo. You can't be no broke ass nigga in a tat, bro. If you got no type of money, you spend your first check on the tattoo. Nigga, what you doing, bro? Stack your money up before you get in the tat, bro. You know what I'm saying? But hey, like always, though, y'all, always make sure you eat and always make sure you have something entertaining to do. Another thing I'll probably say, I'm gonna say, grab you like a little stress ball. You know what I'm saying? You can squeeze. Cause when they start digging your skin, I ain't gonna say digging your skin, but when them knees start hitting you, bro, you gonna wanna squeeze on something, yo. I'm talking about all the veins gonna pop out your arm and some more, bro. I'm talking about every last one you gonna feel this shit, bro. Every last one, bro. It's like with me, when I was getting mine, though, it was really one of them things where you, I won't really worry about it. It was like, it was irritating, but it wasn't. Cause it's like, you get like a lot of shading, she gonna do like one spike, and she gonna finish up the whole thing with like then 15 minutes. So it take 15 minutes just like for one letter of shading, bro. So yeah, just know you in for a ride, you trying to get that. That's why I say when you get your first tattoo, get something small and start off big, cause you don't wanna just go ballistic, you know what I'm saying? Me, I went I went ballistic just cause just cause I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker freezes, you heard me? But hey though y'all, what y'all feel like y'all probably do? You feel like you'll get numb and crane with your tattoo, or you feel like you gonna take the pain like a chump? Me, I was the baby. My arm was ready. Hey, I was the baby, y'all. Should I get number cream? Cause it's like middle of the tattoo when she started doing it. I said, oh, you know how your body just when you cold. I had that feeling, y'all. It was like a whoa. Yo, I was really getting that, bro. Always make sure too, before you get a tattoo, whoever the person is, I'ma say make sure a female do your stuff. Cause like when a dude do your tattoo, they get the digging and punching in your skin, bro. When a female do it, they be light with their hands, bro. That's why you gotta make sure you have a female. Cause female, they got that magic touch. You know what I'm saying? Female, they just like hands, but nigga, they heavy handed. So they gonna be motherfuckers just stab me on stuff. You gonna be, you gonna be dead at what tells that stop. You don't really want that. You wanna make it work, got now. You just can got down, go in and go out within like a minimal time. The regular, like, the regular hours of getting a tattoo session, it's like a maximum of two, three hours. Two, three hours, like a maximum tattoo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little session, anything you get. It's like, 
So you only have to worry about time. Just make sure when you get a tattoo, make sure your schedule free. So make sure you ain't doing on that day. Cause you gonna be in for a long ride, I ain't gonna lie. After your tattoo, make sure you're not scratching it, make sure you're not doing none of it. Cause you doing that, you going your tattoo gonna peel off ugly. And you ain't, ain't gonna peel the way you wanna look, you know what I'm saying? Cause as you still got shade on your tattoo, it's gonna start coming up the shade that she just did. It's like your skin gonna look pink, and you don't want that. You're basically a waste of money to have much you spent. And that shit gonna be, mm. you know what I'm saying? You wanna pop out to the party just, you wanna pop out to the party looking good, just flex and show on the tattoo. You gotta make sure you all in good condition, bro. Just make sure you freely follow these still, cause you ain't follow these still, bro. Your ass in for a ride. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. You in for a ride, bro. Main thing, bro. After your tattoo, make sure you have aquaphor, make sure you have Vaseline and some soap. The type of soap to have have a dish of fitness soap. It's like a little orange soap bottle, you know what I'm saying? What they're gonna do with it is gonna make sure you no know, stuff going to your pores, your skins. Cause your pores gonna be open after the tattoo and your skin's gonna be got down. You don't wanna get affected cause you get something affected. You don't wanna be you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna be active, motherfucker. You don't want no tattoo to take you out, so just make sure you do that. I'ma say when it comes to the aquaphor, use the aquaphor probably like twice a day. Use that jump morning time, use that jump night time. You know what I'm saying? With the soap, you're not gonna just start scrubbing yourself. You're not just gonna start doing it. You gonna what you gonna do? Rub the soap with your hands and just rub it gentle. Rub that motherfucker gentle. You know what I'm saying? After you get it soapy, once you finna wash it off, grab a paper towel and just drop, drop tap that bitch. Drop tap that bitch to clean it off. That's all you gotta do. You don't gotta go too crazy or nothing. I'm gonna say about a week or two later, that's when the peeling stage gonna come. The peeling stage, the ugly stage, that's when the tattoos start looking scratchy, start looking like someone's been stabbing your ass. Don't worry about that, bro. Just let it peel normally. When you see it peeling, don't try to peel it yourself. Let it peel on its own, because if you peel it yourself, you probably can mess it up and just mess it like the shade or have a look or something. Me, I ain't gonna say I messed it up. I gotta get a little more shade because, you know what I'm saying? When my stuff was peeling, I had a jacket on, and the jacket was peeling it itself. But it came out perfect. It turned out how I wanted to turn out. It ain't came out no boo boo ass tattoo. I'm just letting y'all know. But hey, if you feel like you got what it takes to get a tattoo sitting in that chair, bro, let me know. Put something down below in the comment section. Let me know how your experience was, how the ride was, and all, bro. I really want to know all that, bro. Because if you tell me it's like a successful, you ain't have to no numbing cream, no something. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know, bro. But hey, though, like always, if you with that way, you with the wrong way. We out, no cap, let's go. Don't know me, you can look me on ground. I get on the beat and shit come out.